What do these groups have in common? Tea Party Nation, the All-American Tea Party Patriots, the National Tea Party Federation, the Nationwide Tea Party Coalition, the Tea Party Express, the Tea Party Business Network, the Alabama Tea Party Federation, the Kodiak Tea Party, the Colorado Tea Party, and East Valley Tea Party Patriots. The answer? Less than you think. We just arbitrarily cut the list of Tea Party groups at 10. With so many different Tea Party groups and candidates out there, we've called in a panel of experts. In our spotlight tonight, Judson Phillips of Tea Party Nation, Amy Kramer of the Tea Party Express, Max Pappas of Freedom Works, and Carl Denninger of Fed Up USA. Now, I just want to address this first one to, to all four of you. Will the leader of the Tea Party please raise your hand? Uh, okay. Uh, Amy, you are the chairwoman of, which one are you the chairwoman of? Which group? Tea Party Express. Tea Party Express. You're the chairwoman of the Tea Party Express. Yes. So, you're the leader of the Tea Party, aren't you? No, I mean, we're all leaders of the Tea Party. You know, this movement's made up of millions of Americans across this country, and we're all leaders. We don't have one designated leader. We don't need one. We've proven that we've been a pretty powerful force without one designated leader. What is the difference, Amy, between the Tea Party Express and Tea Party Nation? We're just, we're different groups. I mean, Tea Party Express, we're a federal PAC. We're a political action committee. We engage in the campaigns. We believe the time has come to put down the protest signs and pick up the campaign signs because if we're truly going to affect change, we're going to do it at the ballot box. You know, we work with all different groups across the country and, uh, you know, we find common ground and we unify upon common ground. But we're, I mean, we're just different groups. That's all. Judson Phillips, you're the founder of Tea Party Nation. Are, are these different groups connected in any way or is it just a bunch of different people throwing the phrase Tea Party into a bunch of different unrelated organizations? Well, it's all of us who have the same common cause. We want freedom in America. Some of us work together, some of us work independently. Uh, for example, Amy's a good friend of mine who uh, uh, I want to say hello to because I haven't seen her in a couple of months because we've all been so busy. Uh, Max and, uh, and the hey other there, gentleman. Judson. Hi, Amy. Uh, uh, and the other folks I don't particularly know, but guess what? We all work together because, if not together together, at least independently for the same goal, because we do all have the same goal. We want to stop the advance of socialism in this country. We want to advance the cause of freedom in this country. Max Pappas, you're with Freedom Works, <laughs> which a pre-existing group existed prior to what we now think of as the Tea Party, with a lot of big Washington connections involved in it, with like Dick Armey. Uh, what is your connection to the Tea Party? Well, we've been working with all these grassroots leaders that have uh, popped up for the Tea Party movement <laughs> right from the start. And uh, we've been, we have been doing it for a while. We've been fighting for lower taxes and less government since the early 80s. And we think it's great that there are so many new groups on the scene. We're all brought together by our shared belief in limited government, uh, free markets, and uh, constitutional principles. So we work with everybody who shares those, those same ideas. I, I do know Amy, and I, I don't know the other two, but look forward to working with them on those ideas that we agree on. Carl, De Carl Denninger, your group is called Fed Up USA. What are you fed up with, and are you part of the Tea Party? Well, we started in 2008 after Bear Stearns went down and held a protest on Wall Street and then another one in Washington, D.C. And the primary purpose behind this was to expose that the economic problems that we face as a nation and that what we've gone through is not due to accident or speculation. It's due to fraud. And in that regard, we stand with the Tea Party from a standpoint of trying to get people to recognize that we cannot solve the problems that this country has until we get the fraudulent dealing out of the financial system and the revolving door between Wall Street and Washington, D.C. is closed. Uh, let's let's try to get these groups uh, described by, by answering some policy questions and, and where you stand on things. Uh, Judson Phillips, you, you mentioned that you're opposed to socialism, so let's start with Social Security and Medicare. I assume that means that, that your group, Tea Party Nation, uh, wants to abolish Social Security and Medicare. 
No, we, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. We've, ne we've never said that we want to abolish him. We do want to fundamentally change government because the way government's been working for the last 50 years hasn't been working very well. You know, you talk about okay, social security. Okay, can I, uh, Judson, can I just stop you right there? Let's go back to the full screen of everyone because just let's see a raised hand on this one, okay? Uh, let's see if we agree, if we can get an agreement on this. Do you all agree that social security is socialism? No one agrees with that? No one thinks it's no. socialism? Okay, do you agree that Medicare is socialism? No one thinks Medicare is socialism. Well, you're all wrong on that. Amy, what do you think socialism is? Because those two things are socialistic programs that are run pretty well. There's, there's good socialism and there's bad socialism in the world. And those are what I think are two examples of good socialism that run well and are popular in America. But if you don't think those two things are socialism, can you name me something that this government does that is more Listen. socialistic than government-run health care, Medicare? This is the thing, is they're not being run well. Those two programs you just mentioned are not being run well. They're on the verge of bankruptcy. We cannot sustain this out-of-control spending. Amy, let's many stick with the question. I want to get to what you people think socialism is, because what we've established so far is it's you don't seem to know what it is. Wealth. You don't seem to know what it is. Tell me what the government does that is more socialistic than Medicare that has to be stopped now. Would you say agriculture subsidies are more socialistic than Medicare? We're, you know, we're, the thing is, we need to stop this out of control spending. Tell the me, government okay, intrusion tell me the one lives. government program you would stop. Let, we agree. I agree with you all I, I that government gonna, spending I'm, is too high. You know, now tell me the program, Amy. Right, you tell me the exactly, program you would stop. That's exactly. This is the thing name is me I am the not program, a, Amy. let me are you going to let me answer yes, the question? If you name a program, I if you don't, I have to move on, on to someone US else. Budget. I am not an expert on the U.S. budget, but we cannot spend more okay. than we make. Amy, we we're going to leave it right, Amy, on the, the way table. we're going to leave it with you, and you can reconsider. we got to be on it for the rest of the show. You can think it over for the rest of the show about any government program that you want to stop. But as of now, I've got you down as not opposed to a single government program. And now I'm going to move through the group and see if any of you will name a government program that is more socialistic than Medicare. Judson Phillips, go ahead. Is there a government program more socialistic than Medicare that you want to stop? Programs I would kill start with Social Security Disability. It is the biggest ripoff in the government. It is okay, a program that is filled with waste, fraud, and abuse. Department of Energy, Department of Education. Two programs that have been abject failures. You just they eliminate don't be... both of them? <clears throat> yes, absolutely. Okay. Reduce them to sub-cabinet level. Most of what they do, particularly with education, well, wait a minute. What do you do by reducing it? When you reduce it, you, you reduce the Department of Education to sub-cabinet level. What, what does that do? What, well, for starters... Means nothing. Well, no, it means you start cutting its budget. Uh, to what? You, Would you, you cut start... it to zero? There used to not... Yeah. During your lifetime, there was no Department of Education, so why not cut it down to zero hey, the way it used to be? that's a great idea. All right, I you're like that idea. That. Okay, good. Cut it to zero because right. as a program, it's a disaster. And you let think... The, let way, education you, stay in the uh, states Do you think that public education is more socialistic than Medicare? Is that why you want to cut education more than Medicare? No, I want education run at the state and local level. I don't want a federal bureaucrat deciding what my children are going to study or what they're going to do. I want that done by my local board of education. And right, I don't want the federal well, government... I've got to get to a break, but I want to get Max and Carl in here quickly on naming a government program that you would eliminate because you think it is more socialistic than Medicare. Max, go ahead, quickly. Give me one. Well... Quickly, you want one. There's a new study out by U.S. PERG and the National Taxpayers Union today that identifies $600 name billion dollars one, in cuts. Max, name me one before we go to a break. Can you how name about, one? How about the market access program that subsidizes the most profitable com companies in the country for advertising overseas? There's one. So that's a tax break you're talking about? No, it's a subsidy. Okay, uh, and, and, what is it, and what does it amount to? What, what, like, what tenth of what percent of the budget does that account for? Do you, think you, it accounts, do you think it accounts for one tenth of one percent of the federal budget? It accounts for one so million you, dollars. So you haven't been able, 
One billion, did you say? Yep. Oh my God. So in you, all you of this, federal, in one. all of this federal spending, you can't even think of one percent of it that you would actually cut. That you're willing to publicly say you would cut. That Let's wasn't the Carl, question. Carl that wasn't quickly. the question. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? That wasn't the question. You asked me to identify one, and I identified one. You want some more? Uh, no, I got a break right now. How about, I'm come how, back. About, how about the think 35 billion? Think it over during the commercial break. How Hold about it right the 35 there. billion we're gonna, we're gonna dollars in agriculture?